In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a swing tab to hold your flaps closed in your album. So when you have a flap like this, you want to make sure that when you're turning the pages, they don't flap open. So a nice way to do this is to make a swing tab. So I like to use chipboard pieces. That's why I like graphic 45 and use a brad. But you can make these pieces too. If you don't have chipboard pieces for your paper, you can cut a piece of the paper and put it on cardstock or you can put it on chipboard yourself and you can cut around it and make shapes. So you can also use stickers too. But I'm gonna use my chipboard piece here and what I'm going to do, this is the flap I'm gonna hold closed. So I have this piece of paper already cut. So this is the flap that the swing tab is actually going to go on. So I write whenever I know what I'm gonna be doing, putting a swing tab, I put that there so that I don't forget to add this element in as I'm decorating my pages. So what I'm going to do, I already have this piece cut. I'm going to open this up. It is, my measurements are eight inches and this is four and a quarter inches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this swing tab so that it is actually going to have most of it on top of this. So that's going to hold it down. And I'm going to put my brad here and then it's going to actually swing like this. So I'm going to center this in my page. I'm going to come out about a half an inch. So I'm going to take this out first. And I'm going to mark at my half my center point here and then I'm going to make sure it's a little bit further over than I want it to be it's a half an inch so I'm going to erase this so now that I have this hole in my paper I'm going to pierce it then what I'm going to do is take my chipboard piece I'm going to put my brad down through the hole first and then I'm going to place this through that hole. I'm gonna flip it over on the back side and open the prongs of the brad. I like to turn this paper over on this side and press it down so it's really nice and flat. And then what I like to do is take some masking tape. I just happen to have black. You can use whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. And I put a piece of tape on the back side of this so that those prongs don't move at all and so they stay nice and secure. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to glue this piece of paper here like this. But when this swings down, it'll open, but this is gonna hold that closed. So I'm gonna glue this on and now Whenever I flip my pages, that tab is going to hold this flap into place. When you are placing this, you want to make sure, whatever your shape is, that whenever it is open, it still fits on the page because this is going to be where the pages are bound in and you can't swing it sometimes past that. You wanna make sure that it fits on the page there and that this flap can completely clear it. So you have to be really careful with the size and the shapes that you use. It can swing up or it can swing down. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can also use swing tabs when you have a page oriented up and down to where the swing tabs will swing and the flaps flip up or down as well. So this is a really quick and easy closure that you can use. If you have a lot of bulk that's gonna be under here, so like if I have a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna go inside of here, I wanna make sure that I leave enough room for this swing tab because it will actually start to go like this and it won't hold as well. So you wanna be really careful about how much you have underneath it there. And that's where you'd want to actually score this to make a small gusset so that this will lay flat. So this is a really easy way to make a closure. And in the next segment, I'm going to show you how to use magnets as a closure.
Next, I'm going to show you how to use magnets for closures. So I have a bottom flap and a top flap that I want to be held closed so that when I open and close the pages, they don't fall open. So what I'm going to do is I've already got this one placed. So I have my magnets. I have measured to where the magnet will hit the top flap not right at the edge. I don't want the magnet on the edge of the paper because it'll have a big bump and the paper doesn't always lay smooth. So I have my magnet about one and a half inches down from my paper and it's about an inch down from the top flap because the top flap isn't as long as the bottom flap. You also want to think about what you are going to be doing on the flap, and that depends on what kinds of magnets you'll be using too. So I have a thicker magnet here at the bottom, and I'm gonna put a smaller magnet on the top of it because I'm not going to have anything between these layers besides the paper that I'm going to lay down. So to cover my magnet, first I have it glued down in place. Then I have my piece of paper cut already to fit this and I'm just going to glue this paper right over top of that magnet so that it holds it in place. Now that I have my bottom magnet covered, I'm going to attach the second magnet. So I have a little teeny tiny magnet here. You might not be able to see it really well, but it's going to stick to my magnet underneath the paper. So what I'm gonna to do to make sure that I place this correctly, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the top of it. And then what I'm going to do is close this flap I wanna make sure that my gussets are nice and straight so that this will line up nice and even. And then I'm going to just lightly press down so that I have a bit of glue here where you can see where that magnet was. So I'm gonna turn this sideways so that it is in frame. And I am going to take the magnet off of the paper here, making sure that I have the right direction and glue it down here where it met with the paper. So then what I'm going to do is cover the top flap. And I've already cut my pieces for this, so I have some strips of paper that I'm going to be doing here. Because these are small strips, I am choosing not to use this larger magnet here this is the same size as the one underneath the paper because it's bulky and because I'm not gonna have any other layers in between this. So I'm going to glue the strip of decorative paper, my photo mat, and another strip of decorative paper here, and that will hide the magnet on both of the flaps. Okay, now I have my paper strips on, my magnet at the top is completely covered. I'm going to slide this up so that when this is closed, it stays closed. So whenever I move this to the side, it's not going to fall. And so I can move this and it stays latched. So it's a really easy way to make sure that your pages stay together. A couple things you want to think about though, if you are putting pictures in between your layers of magnets, you want to make sure to use heavy duty magnets because the more layers you get in between here, the less they are going to stay together when the pages flip. So you'd want to make sure that you use really powerful magnets and have as few layers between the magnets as you can. And trying to strategically place magnets on your pages is also really helpful.